All right, so in the previous post, we actually hooked our model object into our administrative site, which is pretty cool. Now we are able to actually modify our posts, create posts, delete posts, edit posts, all that stuff. Um, but I have one issue with what we have right now is it's pretty uh, um, Stone Age looking. It just has like a, a post uh, title and this first off this list display tells me nothing it just says hey you gotta list this is a post that's our title but that doesn't really give me much i want to improve the what it looks like in the functionality of this admin site now we can do that by creating a custom class of the model admin um, in the back end and that's what we're going to do in this tutorial so we're going to go ahead and modify how this looks and how it functions and this will give us a lot more flexibility in the back end and make our lives a lot easier. So go into your admin.py file. In here, we're going to create a custom class of model admin. And so we'll start off with the class. Class post admin. All right. So this is our custom class. And we're going to do admin dot uh, model admin. All right. Oops. Oops. There we go. All right, so in here, this is where our features and function functions would go, and they're going to be we're going to use something called hooks. So for the first one, we're going to use is list display. Right here is our list. This right here is our list, and what we want to do is use a um, change the display around. Okay, so we're going to use list display as our hook. So back into our admin site, we're going to go ahead and do list display, and we're going to set that equal to something. Now we're going to create a tuple and say, hey, list, I want you to display these certain things. And where are we getting these things? Well, they're coming from our models, like the title, uh, like the um, author, and so on. All right. So that's where we're getting it. So I'm going to create a tuple with the parentheses. And then it's got to be a string. So I'm going to do title. And then um, what else should we do? We'll do author. And how about published? So this will give us the publish time. And how about status? What's its status? Is it published or is it a draft? Again, save that. Now, this is cool and everything. We wrote this out. But if we go back to our page and refresh, we're still not going to get anything displayed. Because anytime you make a modification, we need to register with the administrative site. So I'm just waiting for this to refresh. See, nothing's changed. But if we come down here and we put a comma after post and we add post admin which is now our custom class we'll go ahead and save that ignore that and go up here and refresh and gotta wait for the server to catch up refresh now and here we go now you're going to see that the list display has changed now we have title all right before it was uh, i don't remember what it was post i believe now we have title so we got our title then we got author is the admin then we got published the published date and time and then we got status and it's published all right pretty cool right so we with one line of code we made a lot of changes within the Django administrative site which is pretty neat if you ask me anyhow let's go back and let's make some more changes how about if we want to be able to filter the list for example if we wanted to be able to click on here and bring up uh, the author or the published, um, we can do things like that. So let's go ahead and do that, uh, even though it did actually jump into that. And I didn't know it did that, but we'll display the filters anyhow in here using list filter. So let's go ahead and create another line in here and we'll do list underscore filter. And we're going to add another tuple and we're going to have status um, created so we can filter by the created date. How about the published date if we want to filter by that? And how about the author? We can filter by the author as well. So let's go ahead and save that. Now if we go back in, you're going to see a little box over here pop up on the right-hand side. This will give us the ability to filter our posts. Now since we only have one post, it's you're not going to be able to really mess with it. So if you want to go in and create a couple more posts by pausing the video, go for it. I'm not going to waste time doing that. But you could see we can filter by draft published today 
you know, past seven days, whatnot. It's a pretty cool feature because it's the ability to do that. All right. Um, we could also filter up here, which we saw that um, it actually already had that feature. But there you go. There's some more filters up here. Okay. Um, how about if we want a search field? How about if we want to search through our blog post? That would be a pretty cool feature too. And that's something else we can add in there. So let's go to the next line. And we'll do search fields. And what what kind of thing what what kind of uh, stuff would we search for? How about the title? Because you know you might want to search for your post title, or how about we search inside the content? All right. And once again, I'm getting these from our model it's down here. So we got content here, and we got title here. All right. So if we go ahead and that's pretty ugly. So save that. I just like a line there. Uh, that's my weird thing. So if we go ahead and save that and refresh, now we're going to see a search bar up in the top left-hand corner here that will allow us to search our post. All right, so we can go ahead and search like uh, this is, this is all right, and it's going to return something to us. What's it going to return to us? Well, it returned this is a post to us because that's what it is. All right, so it does return stuff to us. Now the next one is one of my favorite, and um, I use this quite often in my projects, is to pre-populate fields. When we are creating um, a blog post, so let's go ahead and create a blog post, we'll take a look at it. Um, when we type in the title, we kind of want the slug for the purpose of what a slug is. A slug is a, um, what's it referred to, like a pretty URL or something. What it does is it, it's more SEO friendly. So what we kind of want it to do is we want the slug to be pretty similar to the title. So there's a feature in there called, uh, in the admin site that is pre-populated fields. So when I start typing out the title of my next blog post, the slug will follow suit and kind of create a, a matching uh, slug to an extent. But it's a pretty cool feature, so I don't have to type the title twice and use hyphens in here and whatnot. So just go back to the list real quick because uh, we want to add this, and then we'll click on Add a New Post, and it will update. So let's go ahead and go inside here. Push one more down, and then we'll do pre-populated fields. All right, and this is going to take a uh, dictionary. So our uh, first value is going to be slug. And then in there, we're going to create a tuple, and we're going to do title. And we got to add a comma, af comma after title, like that, for our tuple. All right. So now we have a dictionary that contains a tuple. So it's saying, hey, slug's going to be the pre-populated field. It's going to be populated when title's filled out. So we go ahead and save that. Go ahead and open up your... Um, Administrative site, and we'll add a post. And mine's still catching up. There we go. Now we're going to create a second post. This is my second post. And as you can see, while I'm typing that in, the slug is being created. Now the slug is already um, pretty much um, creating an SEO friendly version of the um, title, because this is, we kind of don't want that to be used in Google or whatnot, so it's just going ahead and my second post is, like the the more rare wor words it's going to use. All right, so it's doing that pretty cool. So that's a pretty cool feature, and then we'll just fill the rest of this out, second post SEO title. This is my second post, second it doesn't really matter what this all says because it's not something I would post on the internet. So go ahead and save that. All right. Um, and now if you look, now we got two posts and whatnot. Now we can actually like filter through. Uh, I should have made this one draft, but we'll do that later. Um, like we see what today was published, stuff like that. We can filter through. Uh, we could actually type in second. Let's do second. And we get this is my second post and so on. All right. So that's pretty much how we can modify the uh, administrative site. 
There is a ton of features that can um, be used in this por portion. So I suggest if you have um, you know more questions about this, go into your um, go to the Django. I'm sorry, my phone was ringing. I'm getting sidetracked. Go to J Django and look up administrative site. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. I'm not going to pour you know too much more time into this portion because we're going to create our own. I like to have my own where I can control the functionality and how it all works and whatnot, and you guys will learn a lot more there. So I'll see you in the next tutorial where we actually start working on views and displaying this content on the front end. So I'll see. You